Otter Studio. Today we're going to be drawing some portraits using ink and watercolor. These are going to be illustrative portraits. I'm gonna go over basic proportions with you. We'll draw them in ink, then we will paint them in with watercolors. These are the supplies that you'll need. You need some paper, and I'm using watercolor paper, cold press 140 pound Canson watercolor paper, the XL series, and then I'm using this Koi watercolor set. This is the pocket field sketch box. This is made by Sakura, and I love this particular one because when you open it up, everything is here. You don't need anything else besides this. You don't need a cup of water. You don't need a paper towel. This is great to take traveling. Also, it's great if you're in a classroom. You could carry this around in your backpack or in your bag, and uh, you don't need anything else except for paper. So I love, love this set, and that's why I wanted to use it for this tutorial. This was given to me, and it's been one of my favorite things. And you need a pen. I'm using this Micron pen. It's called a Pigma pen. And this is also made by Sakura, and this is a number one. So this is a little bit thinner. You can use whichever thickness or thinness you would like. Okay, let's go over basic proportions really quickly. And remember, these are basic. This is not everyone's face. So if you're trying to draw a particular person, look at their face and see what characteristics they have that makes their face unique for them. So I'm gonna draw the shape of the head, uh, just a basic shape, and I'm gonna use just an oval. An upside down egg, whatever you wanna call it. Some people have heart-shaped faces, square faces, round faces. This is just an egg face. Now the eyes are halfway between the top of the head and the chin. And to draw where the eyes are, I'm just gonna be drawing just blocks. The nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin. Then the mouth is halfway between the nose and the chin. A little bit higher, actually. And I just put a little line under it to show that it kind of dips in right there. Okay, you can add some eyebrows. So I'm just gonna bring in the side of the face a little bit here. Okay, now if you were drawing ears, they would be between the eyebrows and the nose. And then if they had hair, it would just be somewhere up in here. If they were bald, you could just add those. But let's add some hair. Okay, and some people, when they're doing the eyes, you can add the round part underneath. You could add the side of the nose here and maybe some nostrils. You could add a line showing that the nose is in there. Right now, let's talk about the neck. So where does the neck come out? A lot of people draw this tiny little neck that wouldn't be strong enough to hold up a head. The neck starts, if we drew an imaginary line from the corner of the mouth to the side of the head, that is where the neck comes down. So an imaginary line over to the side of the head. Now if you were gonna draw a portrait from the side, it would be the same idea. So I'm just gonna start with a circle and then I'm gonna draw a line down and back up and this would be a neck. The eyes would be halfway between the top of the head and the chin, which is somewhere in here. So I'm just gonna add the eye right there. And the nose is halfway between the eye and the chin, so I'm just gonna draw an indication the nose would be somewhere in here. And then the mouth is halfway between the nose and the chin, so there is the mouth. So you can go ahead and draw in the nose, the mouth, eyebrow. This would definitely be bigger back here. The ear is between the eyebrow and the nose. I'm just gonna make this way bigger back here. And then let's go ahead and add some hair to this. So now you can kind of see how it would work from the front and from the sides. We're gonna draw two people together and then I want you to draw one person by yourself. So let's draw just a basic shape of a head. So when you draw the eyes, some people just do like a line with a circle and some people, you know, will do a line with a circle with a little bit of the bottom. Use whatever eyes you want. You probably have a way of drawing them. So just draw them however you draw them. So halfway between the top of the head and the chin are the eyes. So I'm just going to draw those in. Halfway between the eyes and the chin is the nose. And then halfway between the nose and the chin is the mouth. Now you can make this into a person. Change the shape of this face. I'm gonna add some eyebrows. I might add a little line where the nose is, and then I'm gonna draw an ear in between the eyebrow and the nose. Maybe this person is bald. He just has a little bit of hair right here. And then his neck is gonna come, let's draw an imaginary line over the edge, line down, imaginary line over the edge, and a line down and over. Maybe we could give him a t-shirt or something. Now let's draw somebody wearing something on their face, like glasses or goggles. So let's just draw the basic face shape. Halfway between the top of the head and the chin are the eyes. In between the eyes, a whole other eye would fit. So when I draw it, I try to fit like, okay, if I was drawing another eye, I'd be there. So this is where my next one's gonna go. And this is gonna be a girl, so I'm just gonna thicken up 
the edge over here and just add a few little lines coming out just to show that there's some eyelashes in there. And then halfway between the eyes and the chin is the nose. And then the mouth. Now let's make it into more of a face. So I'm gonna add some eyebrows in here. And I'm gonna make her face just a little bit narrower. Let's add her neck really quick. Come down, imaginary line over and then come down. I'm gonna put some goggles on her. Ski goggles, snowboarding goggles. So let's just draw maybe a hat. And let's give her some hair. So I'm just gonna put a, like a braid. Okay, so now that we've drawn these two together, now I want you to draw one on your own. And then after you draw it, we'll paint these in together. So I'm just gonna draw one on my own. I'm gonna put a weird hat on this person. Now that you've drawn them, let's go ahead and paint them in. This is the fun part. Let me show you how to do this. It's really simple. If you're using other watercolors, that's fine. You can just follow along. You'll just be dipping your brush in water. But if you're using this set, what you need to do is unplug this. Make sure you have water. And screw the cap on to the left. Open it up and then you're ready. The water's in there and we are ready to go. Well, the first thing we're gonna be painting is the skin. Everyone has a different skin tone, so I'll try to do a few different ones in here. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this light peach color with a little red. That's super dark, and what I'm gonna be doing is just testing my colors up in this corner. So if it's too dark, I'll just squeeze some more water in here, and I might add a little blue just to make it not so bright. So I think I'm ready. I'm just gonna paint his face in. And I'm just covering the whole thing. Okay, and then I'll paint in her face. And then I'm gonna change her skin tone a little bit over here. And I'm not gonna paint the inside of this because I'm gonna color her goggles a certain color. The nice thing about painting multiple ones at the same time is we can let one dry while we're working on the other one. I would keep the puddles here. I love using bigger puddles because then I can use this color instead of trying to make it again when I'm painting in some of the shadows on their faces. Let's paint a few shadows on his face. So I'm just gonna grab this color, same color I used to paint his face. And I'm just gonna put, you know, some shadows where there would be shadows. So the sun's coming from the top, there's gonna be shadows around his eyes, probably under his nose, under his mouth, definitely under his neck. There might be some shading on his cheek. If you wanna fade it a little bit, rinse your brush off and blot it, and then just go very, very lightly along the edges of those lines, and that'll just make that edge not so sharp. So that's just a simple, simple way to shade. I'll add some different shading on her face right now. Now while these are drying, I'm gonna work on the middle of her goggles. I have some goggles that are just like bright, bright red inside, so that is the color that I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna leave one square white in the middle of her goggles so it looks like there's a reflection. And then I'm just gonna paint in her hair. So to rinse my brush off, all I do is squeeze it into this sponge and it rinses it for me. Some black. So after you paint the face, just start adding details. I don't wanna paint next to these wet colors because I don't want it to bleed. Those are the basic steps to an ink watercolor portrait. And again, these are really illustrative, quick, and fun. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you around on YouTube.